growing concerns over the possible closure of an elementary school in Amityville, Long Island. The district says their hand may be forced because of budget deficits, but as Fox 5's Jody Goldberg explains, there are still other options on the table. The future is uncertain for Northeast Elementary School in the Amityville School District. At a board meeting on Wednesday night, the superintendent said closing the school, which houses the pre-K program, and letting go of the majority of its employees could save the district close to $2 million. As Fox 5 has reported, the district is already working on cutting a multi-million dollar deficit. Completely devastating, upsetting, heartbreaking. I've had a pit in my stomach. Kayla Cooper's daughter Emma is at Northeast now. Her older daughter Brooke went there back in 2020. She was hoping her youngest daughter Tessa would be able to go there too. Possibly closing the school comes as a surprise to parents who say their children are the ones suffering for what they call major misspending. Our kids are our future and you're sitting up here and you act like there's nothing going on. So far the district has laid off nearly 50 teachers and other staff members. Nakia Wolf is the president of the Amityville Teachers Association. If we've already gotten rid of you know, staffing that would equate to approximately $4 million, then why do we need to now close down a school for and additional sums of money. Officials discussed the possibility of relocating pre-K students and some staff to Northwest Elementary, but Cooper says the building isn't equipped and that's a poor solution. To have this happening in our district and the transparency not being there. Other potential cuts could impact sports and after school clubs. And if Northeast is kept open, property taxes could go up even more. It's like, what do you do? Union leaders say they plan to meet with the district to make sure every single option is explored. The school board must adopt a budget by later this month before a vote on May 21st. In Amityville, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.